Okay, here we are, Tanglewood in uh, Western Massachusetts in the Berkshires. Check this thing out. All right, guys. But it says in the plaque right there, it says stand on the month. So Dan, can you go stand on the month out there? It's this one. Yeah, right there. Okay, stand on the month. And then if you look around here on the cement, they have these different times, 7, 8 a.m., 9, 10, 11, 12, and it goes all the way around and you see the time. Now, Dan, let's see, let's see where your shadow points. Your shadow is point. Put your hands up, Dan. Okay. It's kind of between 11 and 12. What would we say that's maybe 11, 30, 11.20-ish maybe, if you were to extend that. Right, if that's 11, and that's 12. Okay, so let's say, I don't know, let's say it's about 11, 20. All right, Mrs. G, what time you got? Actual time on your clock. Uh, it's hard to see, I think the focus is more. 12.20. 12 20. Don't forget daylight savings. Well, you, now you just gave the answer. I was going to have everyone think about it. What do you think the reason for that is? Daylight savings time. Jump ahead an hour. So on our clock, it's actually 12.20. Ooh, and then Mr. G shadow. You do it, Mr. G. Do it. Your shadow's longer. Uh, okay. I like that. Right on 11.20, and again with daylight savings, 12.20. Cool. And that... It's basically how a sundial works. And this is an accurate one. Because it has the months. You stand at different months. And that accounts for the different sunrise and sunset times. Um, and please, I want to note that no matter where you're standing, your shadow at noon all goes that way. It'll be straight from there. And that's because um, your shadow always points due north at noon.